Now, when it comes to moving or storing your documents inside of SharePoint, most businesses are getting it wrong. And in this video, I'm gonna show you why you're getting it wrong, but more importantly, how to get it right. But before we start, a quick introduction. My name is Jonathan Edwards from Integral IT. We help businesses all over the world with their Microsoft 365 and their cybersecurity. Now, for those of you who don't know, SharePoint is part of the Microsoft 365 suite. Lots of businesses use SharePoint to store their shared company documents. Now, within SharePoint, you can have something called a SharePoint site. Now, a SharePoint site is like a, a bucket or a container where you can store documents. But you can also have other things like Microsoft Lists, you can have videos, you can have images. Now, within a SharePoint site, you can have something called a document library. Now, you can have multiple document libraries inside of a SharePoint site. When you think of a document library, it's a little bit like a filing cabinet where you can store your company documents. Now, what I see time and time again from working with hundreds of businesses with their SharePoint site is this. They've got an IT company and they've got a server in their office that is used to store all their company documents. The business decides to move to SharePoint. So what the IT company do is come along and they create a single SharePoint site. And then they pick up all the documents from the server and they move them all to a single SharePoint site. It's a little bit like when you move house and you just pick all the crap up and move it from one location to another. Now you might be thinking, well, what's wrong with that? Well, there's a lot wrong with that. And I'm gonna give you the four reasons why you shouldn't use a single SharePoint site for all your company data. Now the first and perhaps the most important reason is of course security. Each SharePoint site is like its own security container. And the recommended option is to set security on that site at the site level. Imagine now if you just pick up all your data, which includes finance data, marketing, sales, operations, and you just move it to a single SharePoint site. Yes, on that site, you can break the permissions and you can start adding things on a more granular level, but the security soon gets messy. The recommended option, as I've said, is to set security at the site level. So for example, you might have a SharePoint site just for your finance department, and all the data relating to your finance department is in the finance SharePoint site, and you can easily play with the permissions to make sure that the only people who can access that are in the finance department. Now the second reason, and Microsoft 365 groups. Now, when you start to think about your SharePoint implementation properly, you must start to think about Microsoft 365 groups, which offers much more than just SharePoint. So let's stick to our finance team example. You might create a Microsoft 365 group called Finance. Now, when you create that group, a Finance SharePoint site will automatically be created, but, you get much more than a SharePoint site. You'll get a group email distribution list, perhaps called Finance At, and all of the people who are members of that group will receive emails sent to that distribution list. You'll also get a finance group calendar, so you can plan all of your work inside that calendar. You'll also get a finance Microsoft planner, so you can again plan all your projects who's doing what. You'll get a finance OneNote, so all of the finance team can make all of the notes. And then you can start introducing Microsoft Teams for group chat and group conversations, and you can bring all those applications into Microsoft Teams. So your modern business is about much more than SharePoint. The third reason why you should have multiple SharePoint sites is because of the archiving of data. I know so many people who have files and folders that are 10, 15 years old. Yes, you still might need them in the future, but you don't need to be staring at them every day. So you could create a SharePoint site for a specific project. You could attach that SharePoint site to a Microsoft team. And when that project's finished, 
just archive the team away. Nice and simple. No data is deleted, but you just don't have to look at it every day. Now, the fourth reason why you should consider your SharePoint implementation properly is because of external sharing. Now, let me tell you a story. Once upon a time in a faraway land, a company moved all of their data from a server into a single SharePoint site. And then one day, by accident, one of the employees accidentally started playing with external sharing. And they, by accident, shared the whole document library for their business with an outside party. Now, external sharing is a fantastic feature within Microsoft 365 and SharePoint. To be able to collaborate with others outside of your organization is a definite plus, but it needs to be thought about properly. Again, if you're just dumping all of your data into a single site, it's gonna get messy. So there's the four top reasons why you should consider having multiple SharePoint sites. That is what every business should be looking for. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Look forward to seeing you again soon.